Hello there, this is Dave Allen for Mac 20 Questions and also for No Stylus. And today I'm having a look at iBooks Author. Let's see what we can do with some of the new things that came with the latest version of iBooks Author. Well, one of the things that you can do is you can put in some new widgets. And one of those new widgets is a scrolling sidebar. So here we go, we've got a scrolling sidebar now. And I'm just going to put it up the top over there. Let's just move this inspector over to one side here. Now let's, before we get started, let's just put a colour fill into the scrolling sidebar so that we can just see it a little bit better. We'll go for a nice uh, orangey colour. Lovely. OK, so we've got our scrolling sidebar there and we can put things into that. Let's put some text in there first. Let's grab that bit of text there. Nice good big bit of text so that we get some scrolling happening. We'll copy that. Go back into iBooks Author and I'm going to click once on that, double click it to add the text and I'm going to do Command V to paste it in there. OK, so there it is. We've got some text and then it scrolls. How about that? Isn't that marvellous? And while we've got this text in there, we can also change the size of it. And it seems the minimum that we can have on that is 200 pixels wide, but you can go as wide as you want with it. Take over the whole of the page there if you want to. But let's leave it at around about halfway across the page. OK, so let's put an image in there too. Let's go and get an image from our folder with images in it. Let's find a suitable image to put in there. OK, anyone will do for the moment. OK, so let's grab this image here and we'll just drop it into that box. And of course, because I've got a white background on this actual image here, I'm probably going to be better to do this background of the box with a different colour fill, with a white colour fill. So let's put it back to white again. We can put a line around it though. We can have shadow even. There, that makes you stand out from the page a little bit, doesn't it? And the line, what sort of lines can we put on there? Let's uh, maybe just uh, increase the line size first of all. Okay, so that's a line around the outside of it. We can choose a colour. Let's put a red line around it. Okay, so we've got a red line around it. Got no endpoints set on there. We can't set any endpoints. We can have shadow or not have a shadow, it's up to us. We can say where we want that shadow to go, so we want the angle to come over there. And we can increase the offset of that shadow as well. I've increased the offset of the shadow out to the left a wee bit, or I can make it go to the right, whichever I want. It would be kind of nice if I could change some of these endpoints around this here. So I could have, uh, instead of rounded corners and this, I could have square corners. Let's just change this to a dotted line. Well, that's a bit different, isn't it? <laughs> Let's change the size of it down a bit so we get more dots. Might not be the most lovely thing in terms of design, but still, it delineates it from the rest of the text. And when we go over the top of it, we can do our scrolling. So there you go. That's how you add scrolling text boxes to your iBooks author project for your iBooks author. And let's have a look at it in iBooks now. So here we go, Is our book opening up, it's loading the preview and you can see we've got our little uh, text box over on this side over here. And now what I'm going to do is just going to do the scrolling with my finger on my iPad. So there you go, that's how you can get scrolling text boxes on your iPad books. So go and have a bit of fun now with making some iBooks with your iBooks author application on your Mac. Bye bye now, talk to you again soon. Thanks for watching the video and why don't you check out the other videos, here's two of them. There's one video there and one video there that you can click on and go and have a look at now. And don't forget that you can also subscribe. Talk to you again soon, bye bye now.